ever since I can remember, I've been a little different. Yeah, kids would tease me, social interactions were awkward, and I never felt like I fit in anywhere. Heck, even my parents were loving, compassionate, and happy. And yet, I always felt distanced from them. Even back then, I knew that it wasn't them. It was me. Years later, I found out that I was adopted. I thought that this knowledge would explain some things, but it didn't. And the way I felt, and the things I saw, could never be explained away by simple genetics. I always contained this sense of greater self, like I was meant for something more, or I had even once been something more. I didn't even know this for a long time, but did you know that people can't see molecules? I used to ask my parents what all the colorful floating static in the air was, like lingering particles of smoke, to which they thought that I was seeing things. The only other explanation was that there was something wrong with me, and no parent jumps right on that bandwagon. However, it was when I started seeing them, the bright ones, always following those close to death, always seen with large wings of fire. I thought I was going mad until I met her. I was approached by a kind old woman today, promising that she could help me. Of course, I thought she was very strange or delusional because I'd never met this woman before. But she told me things about myself that no one has ever been told. Things I've only written here. She led me to a small apartment in an alleyway, to which I was cautious. But again, she knew things that no one else could. She touched my head, told me to relax, and reached into my thoughts, or so she said. She described beauty clouds, gates of ivory, but then shrieked in terror before murmuring a few short words and falling limp, collapsing onto the floor, dead. She may not have seen the whole truth, but she allowed me to. I suppose the realization that I am God actually makes perfect sense. Somehow, I've always known but if I'm here, on Earth, powerless, then who is running heaven? Social media can be very unpredictable, especially regarding horror content. If this content gets removed, all new content will be simultaneously presented on various websites provided in the description to this video. Make sure to follow me in other digital spaces so that you never miss out on the terror. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave a comment and hit the like button. It helps the channel a lot. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy what's here, consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Writing is a dream of mine, and it's all of you that make that dream come true.